In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use probability to predict future events. Let's take a look at the example. Last week, customers at Party City bought 80 birthday balloons, 38 graduation balloons, 40 wedding balloons, and 42 baby shower balloons. Suppose 250 customers buy balloons next week. Then how many customers would you expect to buy a birthday balloon. So the way we're going to approach solving this is by writing a proportion. When you write a proportion, you'll be writing two ratios or two fractions that are equal to each other. When you write a proportion, whatever value you use for the numerator must represent the same thing. So in this case, both numerators will represent the number of birthday balloons. The denominator of a fraction is going to be representing the number of total balloons. So, in the first sentence, you are given a variety of balloons. Can you find the total? 80 plus 38 plus 40 plus 42 will give us a total of 200 balloons. Now, out of those 200 balloons, we want to identify how many are birthday. So that would be 80. Now, our question says there will be 250 customers coming into the store to buy balloons. So the 250 customers will represent our total. We just want to find out, out of these 250 customers, how many of them will buy a balloon that's a birthday balloon, which we don't know. So we will use an assigned variable, capital B. Once you have written a proportion, you'll be using cross multiplication to solve. Two hundred times B is two hundred B. Eighty times two fifty that will give us two hundred B equals twenty thousand. In order to solve for capital B, you'll have to divide both sides by 200. Lastly, capital B when you solve will be 200 birthday balloons. So out of these 250 customers who are expected to buy balloons, 200 of those customers will be buying a birthday balloon.